Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So in today's video I'm going to show you quickly how you can run transaction reports in eBay and get them into CSV or Excel format. Okay, so for today's video we're going to go over to eBay. Once you're there, you're going to go to My eBay and you're going to scroll down to where it says Selling. So it might just take a second to go into it. It can be a little slow once when I'm recording the screen. Okay. So once we're here, we're going to go up to the top bar here and we're going to go over to where it says Payments and we're just going to click directly on Payments. So once we get into Payments, which hopefully will be quick, where you can see your some of your details there and we're going to scroll down to where it says Payment Reports and Taxes. So here you can see Transaction Reports, there are no reports requested and uh, it'll give you a summary Usually it was there if you click on it, if you get it in CSV, so we're going to go create report. <coughs> okay, so this is your transaction reports. So firstly, you can choose what status, your available funds, your processing funds, your on-hold funds. I usually choose them all. So next thing will be transaction types. So it automatically defaults to all transaction types. But if you want to exclude any of them, you can just simply come down here and you can unclick any of them. Okay. And next thing is the period you want to do it for. So you can maybe just do it for the month. So you could do it from the first to the last day of the month if you want it. And you simply click create reports. So sometimes depending on the size of your report and how many transactions, it can take a little bit of time. So it says in progress here. So you just need to keep it and refresh until it generates. If it's only small, it'll be quick. But if it's a big report, you may need to do it a little bit. Usually it'll send you a notification of when it's done. So I'm just hitting refresher and it doesn't work. <laughs> it usually does. So it's still in progress. <coughs> so what you need to do is you need to leave it a couple of minutes. Um, the bigger your report, the longer it takes. And once you do it, it'll be available for download. It'll download in a CSV format. And once you have it in a CSV, you just need to open it. And then you just need to go up to file and save and then save this in Excel. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.